What's up guys? Big D Wiz here old school stereo.com. We've got a couple of beastly amplifiers here from Orion. Today what we're going to do is we're going to kind of talk about each one and we're going to put them on the test bench and compare the power output on these babies. First up, we'll talk about the Orion XTR2250. This is also known as the Beast. This amplifier is rated at 2 times 250 watts at 4 ohms, 2 times 500 watts at 2 ohms, or 1000 watts bridged. Massive, massive, beastly amplifier. As you can see here, we have the uh, famous Orion DIN input there for powering uh, like a crossover or an EQ. We have left and right RCA jacks. We have LED, peak LED meters here, a gain control. We have the EQ and mono. And the opposite end of the amp is pretty boring. We just have the plus and minus connections there for the battery. And we have a Molex plug there which uses a harness so the wires come out they are not terminated by the uh, terminal blocks which uh, everybody seems to like including me better than harnesses. And next up we're going to talk about the Orion Concept 97.3. There's actually no decimal in between 97 and 3 but it's generally accepted it's called a 97.3 this is a special edition amplifier made in approximately 1997 and from the research I've done approximately 150 of these were made and according to the Orion um, marketing director about 100 of them were sold as you can see it bears a strong resemblance to the XTR 2250 size, dimensions, buttons, everything else. And I'll also show you the connections here, which are identical. Again, it has the DIN input, left and right RCAs, peak LED meters, gain control, EQ, mono buttons. Exactly like the XTR2250. And as you would expect, on this end it's the same it has the battery plus and minus connections and it has the uh, Molex plug. Now what makes the Concept 97.3 an interesting amplifier is the fact of the ratings it was given by Orion in 97. This amp is rated at one half watt per channel that's 0 0.5 watts per channel at 4 ohms and it is rated to handle all the way down to, I don't know, some crazy load, almost zero ohms, and put out over a thousand watts. And according to an article I read about this amplifier, Orion pretty much just introduced this amplifier to uh, get back at some of the manufacturers for rating amps extremely low at four ohms, and then them actually producing a lot more power. And Orion said, you know, we created the 225 HCCA, which was the first real cheater amp back in the 80s. Said, you know, we're going we're gonna to create an ultimate cheater. So this amp is rated into 4 ohms, 1 watt total. All right, so you've seen the outside. Now let me get out the good old trusty screwdriver with the Torx bit. We'll pry these babies open and take the bottom panel off and we'll compare the guts. All right, through the magic of video, have both of the bottom panels removed. 
and we have dual gut shots here. So let's look over both amps real quick and see what's going on here. Those are 3300 microfarad caps. Looks like there's six of them. Two toroids. And two more 3300 microfarad caps. And this one. Well, looky there hard to see but they're 3300 microfarad and there are four six eight and there are four six eight we have dual 40 amp fuses one on each side two power leads which terminate at the, uh, the, the positive connection there. And the same thing here. We have two 40 amp fuses, both with, looks like eight gauge, maybe 10 gauge wire, both terminating at the, uh, at the block there. And just a quick review by me other than different colors on some of the uh, resistors and obviously the capacitors are a different color I don't see any evidence of any difference between these two now many of you guys know the internet and know how many myths and legends and everything else are out there I wanted to create this video to kill all those myths. I would say the other word with myths, but I know that that's probably trademarked. But um, what I wanted to do is show these two amps and I want to test them and show you what I believe is that both of these amplifiers are the same minus the uh, fancy polished heat sink here on the 97.3. Honestly, I do not see any differences. I know it's pretty pretty difficult for you guys to tell in the video the real close-up differences in these amps, and I don't believe there's many, if any. Just trying to pick them out. At the 10,000 foot view, I don't really see any differences other than that one resistor. I'm sure there may be some very small differences but overall they look nearly identical so that's enough of the beauty guts well you can never really get enough of the guts so I'll do a fly through of each amp here's the 97.3 Here's the XTR 2250. And here they are both side by side. Truly pieces of art in their own right. This could just be mounted with their circuit board showing to me. And that's art. They're just beautiful. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the bottom plates back on. And we're gonna fire these babies up one at a time, thanks to the good old 20 amp circuits we had put in for the Audio Authority 978 power supplies. We will have 200 amps of clean current at 13.8 volts, plenty of current to power these amplifiers one at a time. So let's fire them up. 